oh no, I'm late for work because I just didn't set an alarm on my phone. If only I had some kind of machine that sat on my bedside table and read the time and maybe also had the radio on it and didn't go extinct in the 90s to get me up. Do you wish this ever happened to you? <laughs> Why would you wish that happened to you? <laughs> well, here at Nintendo and my bedroom, we have just the thing. Nintendo Alamo. This is not my main bedroom. Kim is currently sleeping because we're both sick. We keep getting sick. I don't know what's wrong with us. We might be dying. So I'm using the spare bedroom for this experiment. Probably for the best though, because if you take a look at the box here, it actually says for beds with pets and multiple sleepers, there's a standard alarm function. You cannot use this if you're in a committed and loving relationship. <laughs> I'm not messing around. Nintendo is really out here saying we're a product for single people or people without pets or people with absolutely no love in their heart. <laughs> now, 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 now. That's a joke, everybody watching at home who is very alone. <laughs> not anymore. You got a llama. <laughs> now, for those that don't know, you could only get this on its release, if you're watching this in the future, by being a member of the Nintendo Online Service. No kind of discount or anything, by the way, for buying it via that service. It is a whopping $100 alarm clock. An alarm clock, mind you, that does not actually play the radio. FM or AM, I would have taken either. So technically it does do less things than the early days of alarm clocks. So why is it so much money? Well, hopefully we'll get to the bottom of that. <laughs> Yeah, well, it definitely looks and feels like a toy. It feels very light and cheap. Also, I had to come prepared and have my own uh, USB port on standby because for $100, you do get a cable, but you don't get the brick. She's in, Alamo, Nintendo alarm clock. What's next, a Nintendo toaster? Nintendo oven. It only makes spaghetti and ravioli. <laughs> some lasagna and pizza if you're lucky. All right, let me see what we got here. It says, it. ooh, English? Yes, I would like English. My time zone, w that would be New York. I kind of like this little doohickey on the top. It actually feels pretty good to use. Set up volume. Let's go full bore so you guys can really hear the alarm. Try waving your hand. <laughs> Woohoo! This is the most fun I've had in my bed with this motion. <laughs> Place the clock on a flat surface, then move your body left and right. How's that for you? I don't know if it's working. Am I good? Do you mean to move the pillow? Is that blocking your... What do you want from me? All right, I'm next. It's really not, it's, it's, it wants me to move my body so bad. Oh, finally. So it has to be directly looking at me, I guess. God, I'm exhausted. I just had a workout in my bed. That's the first time I've had a workout in my bed. <laughs> Try moving further away and then coming closer. Here I come. Now we'll set up the clock sensor zone. Why would, how would it be behind me? There was an option for be I'm not realizing you guys have the worst shot in the world. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> sensor zone is now set. Now hop in the bed so we can test the alarm. <sighs> Here we go. Bedtime. Oh, what's that I hear? Oh <laughs> my God, that's so much noise. <laughs> expected it's so loud and there's so many things get out of bed it's yelling at me to get out of bed time to go stop my day whoa it did it oh i'm so proud of myself for getting out oh my god there is definitely no way i'd be able to sleep through that move your body to quiet the alarm huh i thought it got louder the more you move if you stay in bed characters will keep coming to wake you up get out of bed to fully stop the alarm if you get back into bed within an hour of the alarm it'll start going off again no <laughs> The idea of somebody getting out of bed just to get it to shut up and then immediately getting back into bed. We got to try that. All right, let's try the main Awaken to Adventure. Set a time for your alarm to go off. It is right now 5.33. So let's get up at 5.36. So we have three minutes now. I want to see if I get into bed, will it play my sleepy sounds? 
Oh, it is playing Sleepy Sound. Yeah, I'll get you closer. But we gotta be quiet because it's sleepy time. All right, it's time for bed. I actually could fall asleep right now. I'm very tired. I actually really like the sleepy sounds. It's actually really nice and calming. Open your eyes. <laughs> oh my god, no, it's not doing the open your eyes. Wake up, Nick. <laughs> she just starts screaming at me. Open your eyes. Sorry, we gotta take it seriously. <sighs> She stopped saying open your eyes as soon as I moved the first time. So it knows now that it managed to wake me up and it moved on to the next face. That's actually pretty cool. Open your eyes. Oh, it's trying to get me up again right now. It's been exactly five minutes. Now it's trying again to wake me up. It says checking the bed. <laughs> it thought I left. So if I hadn't moved and I was actually asleep, would it have canceled the alarm? I want to know how loud she gets. I can't move. I'm stuck like this now. Oh, I shouldn't have moved. I think it was looking for me again. <laughs> so if you just stay dead still when it goes off, you can get away with it. I mean, maybe the goal of like a real person wouldn't be to trick the alarm. You know, they'd actually want to get up. But if I was dead asleep, I could sleep through this. Oh. Is that you, Zelda? So here's what I'm gathering. It'll try to wake you up when the alarm goes off. If you move around enough, so you're clearly like you're awake, right? And you're like throwing your body around. It quietens the alarm. So you can hit snooze by just moving around and it sees that you're up and that you probably could get up. Like you're obviously trying to shut the alarm up. Then it goes quiet again. It doesn't make any noise. Right now it's just Link and he's just jumping around a little bit, but it's very quiet. The alarm isn't like going off but it'll try to wake me up again in five minutes and then I'll snooze it again then I'm guessing at 20 minutes is where it won't shut up and it'll do its best to make sure I get up so I guess we're stuck here through one more snooze cycle leave a comment down below with what time you get up in the morning I mean, if you wouldn't mind, you could check out either my podcast, Nintendo Podcast, or my new second channel, Reactor Mode. <laughs>
just go straight back to sleep. What is happening? It has almost been 20 minutes since I set that alarm. I'm telling you that me as a person, absolutely I would have slept through all of this. So let's see if the 20 minute mark actually feels like an alarm. Right now it's checking the bed again. I'm gonna move just so it knows I'm still here because I'm scared of it canceling. I also don't like Nintendo saying that they're checking my bed. This is how I sleep, by the way. Do you sleep on your stomach or your back? I've always been a stomach sleeper. <laughs> oh my God. It actually is doing the Guardian. I joked about that. <laughs> oh, that is actually quite scary. Is that the Guardian? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so screwed. I have to face this. Link at the campfire, that was actually pretty relaxing. It's cute that Zelda tries to get me up four or five times before she sends a guardian after my tired and broke deadbeat ass. Let me stop moving and I'll stay dead still. 25 minutes past my alarm. And if it tries scanning the bed for me again, I'm not gonna move a muscle. <laughs> Thank God my alarm finally stopped. I can get some sleep. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, f all right, I'm getting up, I promise. I promise this time I'm getting up. Oh. What a morning, huh? You know, I gotta be honest, maybe I was being too harsh. It's a bit goofy, and I do think it's easy to sleep through. I feel like when my alarm goes off, it's immediately full volume, loud, and I'm awake. Like the second it goes off, I'm hitting the stop button on that sucker. This thing, it could be going off for a few minutes before I finally rouse and realize what's going on. But ultimately, I think it would wake me up. It just isn't as aggressive as a loud phone alarm going off instantly. We can try a Mario one. All right, <sighs> time to go to bed. Good night, everybody. What a long day I had. Tell you what my favorite part of all of this is. It's the sleepy sounds. The sleepy sounds are kind of fire. Nintendo music is so beautiful. I heard the alarm start to go off. Very quietly. Oh, there it is. Came out of nowhere. I'm awake, I'm awake. I feel like that would have woke me up better than the Zelda one. Maybe not right on the dot, like my phone alarm, but eventually I would have got up. All right. Oh, time to start my day. My honest thoughts on Nintendo Sound Clock Alamo. It's way too much money. $100, I don't understand the value here. It is literally an alarm clock that plays sounds. The only extra component to it is it has the motion element where it does try and detect you. I mean, I honestly, I feel like it works. Maybe too well at points because I was so still it couldn't even see me. But I don't think there's any revolutionary technology in here that makes an alarm clock worth $100. I'd say $50 max considering it's a Nintendo toy and you have the brand name, you know it's going to last, at least you hope that it would. Maybe it's just a fun little thing for a kid to do in the morning on his way out of bed. I really can't think of anything else to say here. And since I'm already in my bedroom, uh, I'm, I'm probably just gonna go take a nap. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Be a good spot to put the, the uh, click a video up here. And like a little subscribe thing would be good there too. There's no like, like the video thing, so you'll just have to do that. Anyway, I should be asleep.